Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Um, today we are going to do a cane review. So the reason I wanted to do a cane review is because when I was going through college, um, I actually struggled with figuring out how to sort cane, what I should look for, and also we all wanna know what kind of cane is good right now or what kind of cane is not so good or all that kind of thing. So I thought it'd be fun to do one of these like once a month or something like that. So um, today I'm gonna be reviewing Madeir, the uh, two, August 2019 batch that I got. Um, and I first wanna make a little bit of a disclaimer about any kind of cane review. It is not a criticism of any double read vendor or any cane company or anything like that because the fact is cane is a very natural source. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes there's droughts, sometimes, you know, all that kind of stuff happens. So it's really, a lot of it's kind of out of the control of, um, of you know, whoever is getting you your cane. Um, but um, it's still nice to know what's working, you know? So I can just tell you what's working for me today. So, or not today necessarily, but right now. Um, so anyway, so that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing these so that I can help you, you know, get the right cane. And also if you are gouging and shaping your cane, you'll know what to look for in your, in when you're gouging your cane. And also the other thing that I want to talk about is, well, the other thing is if you are shaping your, if you're not shaping and gouging your own cane and you're just ordering cane, it's just nice to know what kinds of brands, I, I'm just saying brands, but what kinds of cane to maybe buy or what works or what doesn't. And again, some of this is going to be subjective, but it's nice to know what other oboe players are thinking. All right, so um, let's go ahead and I will switch over to my little camera. Okay, so, so yeah, so I'm going to talk about the Madeir. Uh, this is August 2019. I believe I got this from Midwest Musical Imports. Um, and um, because I'm poor, I only order a quarter pound at a time. I order a quarter pound or a half pound. But if you can find yourself coming into a lot of money and you find a good batch of cane, definitely order more than you, um, definitely order more for a while because cane actually gets a little bit better as it ages. It's actually a little bit like wine, speaking of which, I don't think I have any. Darn, okay. Um, so anyway, and the other thing that, um, the other thing to know about, about cane is that there's usually like a rate, there's usually a level of hardness. So softer cane um, is going to be cane that's a little bit more pliable. You'll get it to be able to respond a little bit easier. Um, I actually would recommend it for beginners, um, soft and medium soft cane. Um, and then medium hard to hard cane is something that, you know, you might want to use when you're a little bit more um, working with cane a little bit more often or working with your own reeds a little bit more. Um, also, because I live at high altitude, um, I, a, a lot of people recommend harder cane. Um, so harder cane will, so wait, let me go back. So softer cane, you'll be able to get it to respond faster, but it probably won't last as long. So it'll be a little bit easier to play and it might, you know, it might collapse a little bit. But again, for beginners, that actually might be really good cane for you. Um, medium to hard cane is, might take a while to break in a little bit more. And depending on how hard it is, it might take a wear, it might wear and tear on your knife a little bit more. But um, it will last longer and often I find harder cane just t tends to just get better as as you uh, break it in It just keeps going and going so um, That's gonna be like a big range. Everyone's gonna have a their own preference on that um, Madeir cane tends to be kind of a medium to a medium hard for me and I actually like that um, I think Peter Cooper recommends using hard cane up at high altitude and in general I like hard cane but I, I think for me personally if it's too hard it just I just doesn't work for me so I actually like Luray Madeir which is kind of a medium hard something like that Rigotti is very hard um, I've also found Marion cane to be really hard so um, if you like hard cane those are definitely worth um, trying out. So this is Madeir. And um, when I'm sorting cane, 
so I'll just show you what I am looking for. I found Madeira, this batch, to be pretty good. Um, it's not as good as I normally get from Madeira. Um, but in general, what I like about it is it's got a very soft, warm tone, but it still holds up pretty well. Um, my ultimate favorite cane is Luray. But Luray can be up and down. Like you can get some really good cane, you can get some really bad cane with Luray. Madeira is a little bit more consistent. So um, what I like to look for in cane is that it's yellow, it's shiny, and it has like... It, so the, the problem with this right here, it's yellow, shiny, and smooth in general. And kind of a pale yellow. This is a little bit of a darker yellow. That just means it's a little bit harder. Um, the other thing I want to mention is, I know I'm kind of going all over the place. The other thing I want to mention when you're sorting through cane is your lighting is really important. So I've got a light directly on my cane so that you can see, but I'm going to show you something that I found really invaluable is that the warmness of the light that you have can actually, you know, give you a lot of information so like a brighter so I've got it on brightest setting right now and I, I can just kind of you know I can just see different things in the cane when I'm looking at it at different at different um, colors of the light so let's take a look at this piece because this is a piece that I really don't like and I'm going to show you why so first of all so I've got it on my really bright setting first of all it's really grainy there's a lot of grooves in here, and I don't like that because I think it's going to be kind of dead. It's not going to vibrate very well for me, but what I do like about this piece, and it's also not very shiny, what I do like is these little purple streaks. To me, I think that's going to give me a nice warm sound, but the fact that this is so grainy and I'm taking my nail and running across it, I don't like that. So... I'm not going to use that piece. Um, the other thing, here's another thing I don't like about this piece right here. These gray spots are kind of yuck and dead. So gray spots are going to mean that your, your cane is, again, it's just not going to vibrate very well. So I try to avoid cane that has like this gray in there. However, if I find another side that works and it also works with what I'm looking for, um, with my radius, um, then, uh, then I might use that. Um, some of these brown spots are really nice, so I might use that. And, yeah, so we've got a little bit more gray. This is a little bit shinier. Now, if you can see, let's see if I can get a little bit closer up. So it's really hard to see, but there's a really dark yellow to this cane. And to me, that's just going to give like the, the reed is just going to be kind of brittle. It's not going to sound very good. So I spend a lot of time just kind of looking at my cane, the colors and things like that. Just kind of seeing what I can get. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I always reject every piece of cane that's not perfect because the truth is, is that we're all desperate for good cane. We're all desperate for cane. So... You know, I just, I, I sometimes I use subpar cane, but this is an example of something I would use. So it is shiny, it's got a nice pale color, and I might look at it in different lightings. So that's kind of a, a like a very bright yellow, like a very bright, not bright yellow, a bright white light color, and now this is very warm. So you can see, I'm just going to like kind of go through this and just kind of take a look. And this, this actually is pretty nice for me. Like it's shiny, it's smooth, it's not, you know, it's, it's a nice yellow for me. So I, I would use that. Um, so Madeir in general, this batch here is pretty good. Um, but the, I'm finding a lot of grays on this batch. And it's kind of um, like a little bit dusty which is kind of weird. You can kind of, you know, brush it off and everything, but I don't know. I found, I made a few pieces on it, and I found that it was a little, 
a little too brittle sounding for me um, in general, but I have still made a few good pieces off of it. So, and this is kind of a, a good example here of some, like a purplish tone, but it's still kind of shiny. So I actually might try this, see how it sounds. It kind of, it can kind of warm up the tone a little bit, but it might not last as long. Um, all right, so that's a little bit about the Madeira Cane. Again, it's a, a medium hard. This batch was okay. I found some good pieces, but in general, like it wasn't my favorite for this batch. That's kind of unusual because I actually really love Madeira. So if you haven't tried it, give it a try. And um, that's that's pretty much it for today. So that was kind of a short one. I hope that was helpful and have a nice evening and we'll see you next week. Okay.